here we go guys and girls the H final got me on pole Chris second Tony third Lawrence fourth Blake fifth Damien sixth Tommy in seventh Rohan in eighth Zach in ninth Kevin in tenth and Alex in eleventh a few of these Berry races I've raced against before, I've laid, raced against Lawrence before, I've raced against Tommy obviously, Blake's been in one of my races, but it's all a new field, so new t strategies to learn, new racing styles to carry out, but yeah, let's jump straight into it. So here we go, all the cars lined up on the grid. Guys just checking the positions, making sure everyone's in the right spot. Got Reese marshalling, so there'll be some pretty, pretty quick marshalling from Reese. Reese, one of the fans of the channel, always makes me smile. Great little lad he is. So yeah, hopefully we get it all together in corner one. And round we go through corner one. Cars crashing behind me. I'm going a bit too fast, I want to slow it down a little bit. Getting close to them edges. Everyone's on a charge. Everyone gets a bit crazy till we settle down. I traction roll. So drop down a few positions. So I'm now running in second. Hopefully I can keep this position. If we hadn't crashed on that traction roll, I could have still been in first. The first lap, 27.88. Try and keep up with this car, let, let, not let it get too far ahead of me. I take the inside line, nice move back up into first. Try and keep him behind for as long as possible. Lap two is a 2060. There we go, settle down a bit, it looks like. Just gotta bring it home now. Bit of a gap, car behind crashed out a little bit. Looks like there's a car on the straight, that might be Alex. Lap 3 is a 2096. Oh, what happened there? Quick response from the marshal. Dropped down a few positions, so I'm now in third. Hopefully we can get it back. Too deep on that jump. Nerves are getting the best of me boys. Adrenaline's kicking in, pumping through my veins. Need to calm the beast. Oh, it's terrible. Lap four is the 27.37. Sorry, Tommy. Bit of a coming together there with Tommy as I come back on the track. Try and get this car, this white car. Try and get down the inside. Not a great place to overtake on the straight. It's pretty much do or die. Lap 5 is 24.31. So in third spot, take the inside line on the jump. Nice move. Coming up to back markers now. Into lap 6. Lap 6 is 20.73. The car crashes into the back of me. Not great racing. He should have waited there really considering he took me out. Do or die. There we go. See if I can get the position back. Closing in on him. Oh, take him down the inside. Crash into the wall. Lap 7, 24, 37. Some nice close racing here. Hustle me way through. Oh, it's been too much power. Get the front wheels up in the air. Go. Lap 8 to 22.94. Yeah, up the inside, lovely move. Lovely juggling. There we go. Car crashes out. Get this lap finished, slow car. Doesn't get in my way, lap 9 to 22.06. 
bit of a space now, everyone's spaced out on the track. No hustling for corners, no hustling for space. Just got to get some nice laps in. Get this lap finished. Lap 10s at 21.56. So them setup changes are made last time we were at Banks. Nice and smooth. in second the car crashes out on the straight coming up on this orange car it skids out doesn't get me where I think it's a back marker anyway so I'm in second position lap 11 21.97 now we go awesome, awesome commentating from Paul on race control always keeps the drivers informed Berry always does a great job with race control, race directing, tell them when the cars are coming up to be lapped. A great sound system. It's got a speaker right behind us. So the drivers are well informed. Lap 13 to 21.53. Gonna try to go up the inside. Go up the inside, he crashes out. Oh, lovely. And we go just get this lap, last lap finished. Down the straight. Get this lap, lap, lap 14 to 22. 42. I've got to, I'm happy with that, guys. I was really disappointed when the, when the race finished and I didn't hold on to that first. But yeah, second, got to be happy with that. So Damien won it with 14 laps with the fastest lap in 2092. I was second with 14 laps with the fastest lap in 2060. Lawrence was third with 13 laps and the fastest lap in 2147. Tony fourth with 13 laps and the fastest lap in 2133. Tommy fifth with 13 laps and the fastest lap in 2116. Chris sixth with 13 laps and the fastest lap in 2132. Blake 7th with 12 laps and the fastest lap in 2051. Kevin 8th with 12 laps and the fastest lap in 2305. And Zach 9th with 11 laps and the fastest lap in 2267. And Rowan 10th with 11 laps and the fastest lap in 2382. And Alex in 11th with 9 laps and the fastest lap in 2840. So yeah, it looks like I was the fast. No, I, I was the second fastest car on the track. Looks like Blake. Got a cracking lap in of a 2051. My fastest lap was a 2060. Yeah, well done, Damien, for that win. Awesome racing, awesome driving. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So, onto the lap times. So, slow first lap, fastest lap on lap two, where I was obviously pushing it. Pushed it for lap three, crashed on lap four. Lap five wasn't great, then lap six was okay, lap seven was a slow one. Lap 8 and lap 9, I was kind of finding my feet, and then from lap 10 to lap 14, pretty much nailed it, got in some good lap times. My nerves were on edge for this race, because starting on pole, it was like real, like the spotlight. I had to perform well, but at least I didn't throw it away, at least we brought home, got it on the podium. So onto the overall championship. This is the championship results for the five rounds. Got Chris winning, Adam second, Ethan third, Stuart fourth, James fifth, and Kevin Hodgson sixth. So if you see your name, it's good to be racing with you at this very winter championship. And there we go. A lot of good drivers, a lot of new drivers to the sport all in this sport together and I'm sitting 83rd at 134 I'm happy with that for my first season racing indoor carpet when I first started indoor carpet I was like nah I'm not gonna like it but once you get to this track this awesome event set up by Berry it's really good fun as always guys thanks for tuning in I'll see you in the next one on to round 6